So guys, I was, actually, hold on, let me turn this off. Probably hear me a little better now. This morning, I was terminated from my job, my corporate uh, job where I've been for the better part of a decade. Um, and I was let go. So, kind of all processing, you know, it's, uh, it's crazy. And I think it's a lesson that, you know, no matter what, as long as you work for someone, ultimately, uh, you're beholden to them and you're, uh, disposable resource. You know, you even after you give them a certain, you know, amount of yourself and your time and your years and your life, uh, it comes down to business, it comes down to numbers, you know, uh, it's very unfortunate. But, you know, I know a lot of people right now are dealing with this just like I am. You know, there are 33 million people who were, uh, who, who are unemployed, who no longer have jobs in America. So, you know, I'm, I'm staying positive. I'm looking at this as an opportunity to go all in on my coaching business that I've been doing, you know, for, for quite a while. As I worked full time, um, I've been coaching people for the most part uh, for the last few years. Um, and I think now, now is the time to go all in on what I truly love. Now, I think in, in some ways I was using my full-time job as an excuse because I was comfortable, you know, I was comfortable with my income. I was comfortable with my situation. And sometimes it takes that little kick in the ass to make moves and go for it. And uh, today was definitely a kick in the ass. I got a call this morning and I was told that uh, the company was parting ways with me. So I'm trying not to dwell on that. You know, I'm looking at it as another chapter in this book of life and, and an event that one day I'm going to look back on and uh, just reflect about that was when it happened. That was when things changed. Uh, when I lost my job and, and I decided to go all in on myself. You know, this is a decision that I've been contemplating for a while in terms of like leaving my full-time job to pursue my true passion of coaching and to build my nutrition and, and um, training coaching business as well as some other fitness related uh, industry ideas I have. And honestly, I'd been talking about doing that for a while and especially recently talking about leaving to go all in so it was almost like the universe was saying no we got you bro we're gonna make sure of it and uh now there's no choice now my back's up against the fucking wall and it has to happen you know and there's there's no choice and i've had moments like this in my life and uh you know i think moments like this are largely what define us, how we respond to these moments. And I'm ready to give this moment all I've got. I, I have to, you know, I have a family. And uh, yeah, so I just had to get that off my chest and talk about it a little bit. In a weird way, I'm not sad or upset. I'm almost relieved. It's like there was a big old elephant on my chest. And I was thinking about shooting that elephant, but instead someone came along and, you know, got him off my chest for me. So anyway, to anybody else going through a similar situation, you know, keep your head up, look at the good in it, 
look at what you do have. You know, I have a lot of time now and uh, I'm gonna make good use of that time. And I'm gonna turn this into a positive and I hope you do as well. That's all I got right now, guys. Love you, bye.